What's up YouTube, welcome back, and before we get started, if you have 5 wins, and if you win, if you do 5 times I should say, the little option will come up in your deck builder thing, if you can see on the bottom it says reincarnation, but I'm going to reincarnation, reincarnation, <laughs> sorry, but, uh, speaking difficulties here, anyway, this thing, because I already have 3, so there's, and you only says you only can have 3 in the deck, there's no point having one, so what I'm going to do, is ditch this card and then get three different ones. So, I'm gonna get Dice Moldo, which is a machine, which is completely useless. Mystical Sand, which is a witch. And a dragon thing. Basically, that. So, the, the, none of these cards would benefit of going into my deck, really. And obviously, the higher the deck cost, the more you get. And I'm surprised from 38, I got another 38 and a 46. Since that, I don't need that, really. I'll get rid of that next time. But anyway, I just want to share that before I go back to grinding and stay tuned. When... What's up, usual? Welcome back. And I did some grinding. So I beat Mako seven times now. And now it's time to head for my deck. Because I'm going to show you an extra feature before we carry on. If you score five... Five, if you do pit, uh, if you do five duels, doesn't matter if you win or lose. A little thing will come up called reincarnation. So what I'm gonna do is we can notch this useless piece of dragon, which I don't need, and I get three cards. I did it before when I get five, but I'm gonna show you again when I get ten this time. Unless like I got some useless fairy, <laughs> harpy's pet dragon. That's nice. And looks like rose section of dune. Not really the best. Harvey's Pet Dragon's point <laughs> is actually the best one. But there we go. And now I've got some new cars, Root Water, and whatnot. So I've got my finishing. I managed to score three power and kitchen, that's nice. And some Spring of Rebirth with his power aquas. And also this guy, Warren Ocean Snake. This is the car I'm looking for. Because when it attacks, it has the same ability as. My Aqua Dragon, and it has the same ability of obviously this thing and this as well. So it's pretty good. I only got one at the minute though, and that's pretty much all I've got. And also, my melee of the Aqua has ranked up, but still has no lead ability, unfortunately. And that's it. That's all I need to show you. And now, then, it's time to face against Dro Joey Wheeler. And I shall discuss this strategy when we get uh, when the duel starts. He will be remembered as the slayer of the rose doers. Ah, uh, highly doubt that, Joey. And I'm surprised Joey's not, you know, second, you know, second to the last person you face before Yugi, because really, Joey's the second. He's the best friend of Yugi, so should he be there? But uh, he's not. And this terrain is just random terrain on the coming down the sides and whatnot. And we also introduced a new terrain, Tune. And oh my god, it's a pain in the backside, Tune is. Due to the fact is, True Tune, I should say, decreases all monsters uh, that don't have a specific ability to, trans to walk through it. So if I put any of my monsters in there, they would decrease by 500. And we don't want that, do we? And it looks like I have two amoebas, so... It seems that... And, oh, he's going to switch in defense, but not attacking me. Okay, and he's going to fuse those two... No, he's not powering that up, so... Okay. And, of course, Joey's deck lead is the Flame Swordsman. But... There's a slight problem with it. He has a deck lead ability, but it's ex extended support zone. Otherwise, the any special ability that involves you know increasing the monster's attack points or movement is extended to extra space, say where my amiibo is. But he doesn't have another ability, so that makes it completely useless. Um, bad play there, game designers. <laughs> Why can you give him ability like increased warriors or something like that? But uh, no, decided not to give him a single ability. And Joey's most powerful card is obviously the Red Eyes Black Dragon. And because I will put, I'm uh, hoping I can 
get it, but I'm not, I'm not banking on that. And I see, I'm not getting very good cards. I haven't even drawn a monster with over a thousand attack points yet, and this, this is, and I need to draw a powerful card. Come on, I'm not gonna waste my powers on these weaklings. So let's see what Joey's gonna eat. Oh, he's moving. He's going for to attack that. Oh, he's gonna attack my sidekick thing. Ooh. Oh, damn it! I need a <laughs> What is going? I turn off the ammunition sort of thing. So I'll turn that back on now. There we go. <laughs> Oops. Oh, the Kraken. There we go. I finally got a monster almost decent at attack points ish. So let's summon him and equip him with these two. Like so. Here we go, 2200. Still not strong enough to take that out, but because of the few seeking special ability, that shouldn't be a problem. Now, let's see what he does. Come on, Joey. Oh, he's attacking my amoeba with. Oh, of course, it, I remember that from the anime. He. Use that to beat Rex Raptor, I believe. Well, destroy one of Rex Raptor's monsters, which was a dragon instead of a dinosaur. <laughs> Copped up there, game uh, animation designers. <laughs> Should have been a dragon, but no. a dinosaur. Oh, of course, like <laughs> a dinosaur, but no. So he attacks my amoeba and kills it, obviously, with a well placed whack. And then, of course, Amoeba's special ability kicks in and turns the terrain into water. Or sea, I should say. And now I'll presume that thing's gonna attack here. Yeah. Which now turns the forest into sea. As well. But now, we're, at least we're gonna see him attack, so it's not all bad news. <laughs> Let's see how this Wolfman attacks. Come on, give me your best shot. Ooh. Blue Axe of Death. Whoa, that's quite flashy for uh, spending just a simple whack. But there you go. So that's the, out. I got, now I have to deal with this Battle Ox coming on my flank, my right here. See, oh, do my Rikishi. Uh, I, I'm not gonna waste a pat. Hang on, might have to. Yeah, I do. <laughs> oh, I didn't want to, but I do have to. So that attacks that. Waste of its special ability because there's already water there, but I have no choice. So that battle ox is getting way. Oh, well, I could. Oh, not battle ox. Want battle god? It's getting the bit too close for my comfort. And of course, we already see him attack, so skip it. Like so. Now, Kraken, attack the wolf man. I don't believe we've seen the Kraken attack either. So, let, no, I don't think we have. So, let's see how, how my Kraken attacks. Oh, he's gone for uh, like smoke screen attack. <laughs> Fair enough. And there he goes. <laughs> I thought I would have, you know, slap him with his tentacles, but a smoke screen would do, I guess. So that's all his attacking force down and out. Now, so what what move have you got left, Joey? I don't, uh, and this strategy is random, you could say. He doesn't have, you know, in the army, I believe he his strategy is solely based around luck. But that's pretty much all I can remember of the army with evolving jury. But, but that's what I, as I recall. Not sure it's right, but that's what I. What I Remember, because he relied on something like um, the dice, time wizards, time roulette, and some luck-based cards as well. 
And then, majority of the time, he's like, Oh, good, I've drawn my rolling ocean sea snake. Rolling ocean snake, as you say. That's good. And as soon as it's an aqua, it gains the power boost from my medium of aqua, which is always nice. So let's just summon the power of it and then equip it onto my ocean sea, my sea snake, I should just call it. Uh, move the crack in there. And, uh, why not? Oh. Uh, what was that? <laughs> I suppose that's what that triggers it against the opponent's spell card and destroy it. Oh. Oh, I see. So you was going to try and destroy my Aqua Chorus, were you? Yeah, you crafty bugger. Oh. Time Wizard. Oh. Okay, Time Wizard. When flipped, it turns all... Uh, mon all dragon monsters with under 2,400 attack points into 1,000 dragon. No matter what. <laughs> so let's summon my ocean snake. And I'm going to switch that in defense mode and destroy the time wizard. Oh, destroy the time wizard. There we go. But of course there's a light so I'm going to get spellbound. Uh, that's... Sucks, I uh, But uh, he's got 2,000 dragons, I know it's because two of these things were spinning. Two of his monsters. One of them's right in front of me, but uh, I don't think I'm strong enough to take it out. So, so I might have to uh, retreat my thing down there, because like I said, I don't think it's powerful enough to take it out. Because um, I believe it has 2,000 defense points. Yeah, it does still have 2,000 defense points. Yeah, that, yeah, definitely. Because it is on mountain, so it gains a 500 attack point boost. But at least we get to see how Fells and Dragon... Is, that's another signature of Joey deck. Ah, oh, no, look at that. They just... Talk about Dragon Breath. <laughs> Definitely Dragon Breath. I think it was my Amoeba. <laughs> or Ebba. Whatever, I'm just going to call it Amoeba. Of course, when it gets destroyed, it turns everything into what? C. And now it's in the range where we can, my, my Sea Snake can take it out. But let's see what other cards I've got in my hat. Um. You know what, let's activate my Aqua Chorus. No! There we are, now my... My water... Uh, my Ocean Snake is going to do much more damage. But of course it's special because it gets races because that train's already water. But never mind. Oh, look at that, 4,200, ha ha ha. Of course, this is the first time we've ever seen in this snake, because I did get it off um, Mako. I was hoping I would get that, but now it looks like he, how he's going to, oh, he's gone through two um, water spouts, I believe they're called. And that's when they were told nails on the water, I think they're called water spouts. And he doesn't, uh, a thousand dragon doesn't appreciate it. And down we go. So, <laughs> and the Thousand Dragon. You can't acquire it through the graveyard as well for some reason. I do not know why. But Red Ice, yes. Thousand Dragon, no. You can't have that. I don't know why. <laughs> some cards it just baffles me why you can't acquire them in the graveyard. Maybe because the Thousand Dragon's technically a fusion or something, but. It is beyond me, so what I'm going to do here is take down that face down card. Which is some random warrior. Mechanical. And Joey is specialising mainly, mainly warriors and beast warriors. And the odd dragon, obviously. But I don't think my. Uh... Oh, well. I'll be leaving there in a minute. 
and it's let's summon my let's just flip star boy because he increases all aquas by 300 points I might as well get that ancient power boost so now Joey's running away as, as all deck all people should do when they face against me but now that I think what I'm gonna do here is get is Let's just let's see what cards I got in my hand. Uh, well, I might as well play that there, defend me, just in case. Now, I'm going to make my crack and attack the face down card, which is a, a potato with pants, I think. Looks like a potato with pants. By the way, that's taken care of. <laughs> now, Serpent's going to attack that card. Oh, oh, I know who that is. That is Mountain Warrior. It powers up any monster that's in the mountain range. And since my Kraken was in the mountain range, it gains a power boost. Thank you, Joey. <laughs> now my Kraken's now even more powerful. And let's go over here. Oh, no, no. Oh, some of a bitch. Acid Trap Hole. Destroys any monster with under 4,000 attack points in if it goes into the range of it. So that's there goes my Wukishun. Ah oh dear. Let's see what the oh another Star Boy. So let's just get rid of you. Don't need you. And so then my Star Boy and flip. I do have monster with in my hand, I'm well well with that, but there's no point activating it for that thing. And attack that! Oh, okay. What car was that? Let's see what we got. Oh, of course, Joey also carries Metamorph, which turns his red eyes into red eyes black metal dragon. Which is actually, it has 2800 attack points. Of course, it's wasteland on the left of the mountain. Well, you wouldn't know that now, because <laughs> I pretty much destroyed the whole wasteland. Okay, now let's attack that face down card. Uh, what do we have here? He also has Why Ran? Why is he called that? I don't, I don't remember him having that. I believe Maximum Pegasus has that card. Because yeah, he turns into the tomb. Uh, in the Avenue, I believe. Oh, look who it is! It's Baby Dragon! Oh, look how cute he is. Let's kill it! Kill it with water. So there goes baby dragon. Oh poor little thing. And that's all I can do because I already some. Oh, haven't some months. Uh, just play that there. More defense. <laughs> and that should be it because he. I don't think the only way he can really beat me if he had, had to face black hole. I doubt he, he's going to. He doesn't have it. Now let's see what happens. Ah, uh, he just this turn. So let's just you destroy that. Okay, uh, what was it? Oh, copycat. So let's then um, we'll see one control spell off on the opponent's graveyard. Yeah, I don't think so, Joey. I didn't have any on the Well, if you want to activate Aqua Core, that's me, my guess. But there you go. And that's the end of the duel. Joey didn't put up much of the fight. Only the wolf, his wolf man and swamp bag got give me a bit of hassle, but that was it. Now then, let's see what cars we have in these graveyards. And um, I don't really think there's anything decent in the graveyard at this point, so let's just see if we can get through the world. Okay, baby dragon. Oh, just two baby dragons. Uh... Oh, come on, that carried on going. Y'all just pressed the button. Y'all everyone saw that. I pressed the button and carried on going. Oh my god. But at least I could baby t baby giant time with and then just let's just run through the circle. Oh come on! You son of a bitch of a game! Ah, oh, You did that on purpose. Okay, so that's the end of jury. And our next opponent well I I do something I own the best you underestimated me. Of course you did. So anyway, so our next opponent is here. I believe that's in Paris. And it is in Paris, but it's against some Jay Shandy Morton. 
I believe that's the guy with the Millennium Key, I believe. But white. Uh, I think. Because it says Shandy, and obviously we know Shandy was the person with the Millennium Key. That's what I think. But anyway, that's for the next uh, part. And stay